Good evening everyone, today is a very important video for all you guys who want to do PhD abroad, especially in Europe, right? Because recently one of my friends, he was doing PhD with me and he got admission in Germany in a very good university, right? In a very good college in Germany and the best part about it is that he did not give any, uh, you know, exam like, uh, like your GRE, TOEFL, IELTS, nothing like that, only on the basis of his uh, you know, of his grades, he did not have a publication and yet he got the very best university. So i like to invite him today and ask him that, you know, how did he go about it so that it can help you guys. So Mahesh, if you could come, right. So this is my uh, classmate Mahesh, he's doing PhD with me and he got through PhD. So can you tell them which university did you get through? Hi, first of all, uh, hi everybody, myself Mahesh P. Nair, I am from Kerala. And uh, recently I got admission in Max Planck Institute, which is in Dortmund, Germany. And the best part is I did, I did not want to qualify any GRE or TOEFL, ILTS, and I want to share it with you all, how I did that. Right. So uh, let, let's just, you know, go about the questions that, uh, that like all of you must be having regarding the admission criteria. So first of all, could you just tell them that how did you choose that particular university. How do you go about sorting out university, universities? Like which university do you have to apply and which not? Like yeah, 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 right. yeah. Actually during my masters I had planned to go abroad for PhD. So at that time itself I had done some homework about the different countries and what are the requirements for that countries. And uh, like Germany is one of the country where we did, we it is not mandatory to have a GRE score or I did score or TOEFL score. So I thought that Germany will be a good option for me because I was busy with my project and I had no time for preparation of the R&D. Okay. And how did you shortlist Max Planck? Like in Germany, in Germany also there are tons of universities. So how did you think about like I want to join Max Planck or I should apply to Max Planck? Yeah, in Germany actually I shortlisted some universities like Münster University and Max Planck there it is like in, in IITs in India. There are so many Max Planck around 82 Max Planck institutes in Germany. Okay. And my institute is where it is an interface between chemistry and biology. Okay. So I thought that it will be a good option and I found out this institute and they are opening PhD positions. I found out it from DAD, D-A-A-D, yeah. that database. Yeah. That, 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 yeah. Yeah. That, that database, I was following that regularly okay. and I found that and their positions are open and I started applying. Right. So if you want to apply to Germany, like he said, that D D W A D DAG DAG is a very good uh, database for searching for universities in Germany, right? And right. So then, uh, how like what all did they require for you to like what all did you send uh, as an email to them? Like what all yeah. documents? The first step was to we have to fill an online application, and it is uh, available in their website. Whatever we have to fill, everything they have properly arranged. So we have to. As usual, we have to give our uh, personal information. Then the ne next step comes where uh, we have to explain about. Um, yeah. Yeah. So next next step comes we have to explain about our master's project and uh, the abstract of that thesis. What we whatever we have done in my in our masters. Even we can apply when we are doing masters also. It's not a problem. So you can give a simple abstract of your work, not the abstract of your thesis. And uh, and they will ask for a letter of motivation. Why do you want to do a PhD or why do you want to do in that institute itself? That detail should be involved in that letter of motivation, okay. notification and motivation. motivation yeah. yeah. And uh, I think uh, I have done it myself without any help except Google. Uh, there are so many formats available in Google, so I followed just one of them, and. Um, you just use your creativity and your interest to fill that application. Right. So if you are lucky and if you are like, uh, if you are having some quality, definitely you will, you will be shortlisted. Right. So you uh, like uh, you were you talked MS right in yeah. your university, yeah. in but at that point point of time you had a CGP of around nine point four. Yeah. Uh, luckily, I had a CGP of nine point six six, and I was the gold medalist in that institute. So that gave some preference for me. Right. But and uh, what about your B farm? So do you 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 might have uploaded a B farm score as well. So what you uh, like what do the code metrics in your B farm as well? 
No, no. Actually, my bachelor is in pharmacy, bachelor of pharmacy, and I have done my masters in medicinal chemistry from Naipur, Kolkata. So, uh, my B farm grades were like uh, average. 68 percent something i never had any gold medal silver medal nothing and uh, i think these foreign university they basically look for your uh, research interest so main thing is that letter of modification or uh, sop they will ask for yeah. so sop is like statement of purpose yeah. letter of motivation it's one of the same thing uh, one of the same thing yeah. so uh, mainly it depends on your application and uh, you have to make a good cv in proper arranged format and uh, CV, letter of modification, and your master project work is the first priority. Okay. And if you have any publication, uh, when I was applying, I was not having publication, but I just not, uh, gave a mention about the, a probable publication in my CV. Okay. So it will be beneficial if you have a publication, but it's not mandatory. Yeah. yeah. So like many of you who are applying, let's say in your fourth semester or in your third semester of masters, you might have just started your project. So you know, there are chances that you would not get a publication at the time of application. So over there, you made a very good point that you can just write that you are writing a manuscript for a probable publication. So that gives them an idea that yes, you are planning to get a publication. So that is a very good point that he made. And like he said, it all depends on your research interest. Grades do matter, I think, but not much, not as much as your research interest. So he is going to work in CH activation, I'm going to, yeah. I think. CH. And he did his thesis also in CH activation. So the professor over there who chose him, his, his work is also on CH activation. So yes, they do look for the research interest. So your research interest, your letter of motivation matters. And I think you do not need to be a topper in your uh, you no, know, no. college. Grades is the least preferred thing among them. Okay. It's not that important. Yeah, yeah. I think you just need to have decent grades and that's about, that's about it, right? So all that matters is your research thesis. Yeah. Now, can you tell me once you wrote, wrote them the email, then, yeah. uh, then what was the further procedure? How you got selected? What all happened in that, in between your email oh. and your selection? And after submitting the application before the deadline, uh, I had to wait for one or two weeks, maybe longer, I don't know, exact time. But after that, I got an email that you have been shortlisted for the video interview. Okay. So the next step was to uh, give a video interview. It included two questions. And we have to make, uh, we have to answer for two questions. And the duration should be one minute for each question. Okay. So I made a video. The questions were like, what was, what was the most important aspect of your master's project, which you have, which you have enjoyed the most. Okay. So I made an answer in my way that, uh, which, which can satisfy them as well as uh, I was telling truth also that working on the bench was one of the most interesting aspects for me. So I made a one-minute video on that topic. And the second question was, um, second question, yeah, the it's okay. He <laughs> doesn't remember the second question. About master project only. Okay. Um, About your project only. Yeah, yeah. So most, mostly the questions will be based on your project itself. Nothing else, uh, like nothing from outside your project, right? Nothing, yeah. Okay. And then I think you were, then you got a call for a personal interview. Uh -huh. Actually, like, when I was making that video interview, uh, I chose a good phone, like one plus five. Uh, from I borrowed it my friend from okay. my friend okay. and I chose a good background like okay. a classroom background yeah. and I was facing the camera regularly not like facing somewhere I was maintaining the eye contact yeah that gives them the sense yeah. that you are confident you are confident yeah. okay well, and, that's a really good point yeah and speak in uh, somewhat good English like uh, your pronunciation should be understandable for them because their Germans are not so good at English so you speak slowly which can be uh, which can be grasped by the easily. okay mm. right so then once you give that uh, inter interview video interview mm -hmm. then you were shortlisted for the post interview yeah after one week i got a mail that you were uh, we received your video interview and it was nice and we are happy to inform you that you have been uh, shortlisted for the personal interview right so i had to yeah, right. uh, as you know, I had to go there and give the interview. I had to go to Germany and I had to give the interview. Right. So I replied to them like, I don't have a financial background to come to Germany and give an interview. So I, uh, I would like to give it through Skype. Okay. So, but they told me they will be giving me all the expenses. 
okay. uh, traveling expenses, visa expenses, and Stay. all uh, train train fare, flight fare, and food accommodation. Yeah. So basically, I had no expense to go to Germany right. and enjoy for four days as well as giving interview. Nice. <laughs> Okay. And I had opportunity to meet friends from different countries like Russia, Greece, okay. Argentina. So it must have been a very good experience. Yeah, it was a great yeah. three four three four days. I enjoyed very much. Yeah. And during personal interview, there were three steps. In the first step, we have to give a seven seven minute long presentation. Alright. Uh, and uh, I prepared around the fifteen slides. Okay. For seven minute, and I just managed to finish it in exact seven minute. Okay. So there, if you cross that seven minute, you will not be able to continue the next, and you will not be able to finish that presentation. Okay. They will tell you to stop, and next three minutes for their question and viva voice. Yeah. Okay. So you have to answer them properly also, and time should be an important thing, and your slide should be attractive. Okay. Um, for making it attractive, I kept to my. Master Institute photos and my lab group photos at the end and at the beginning I just gave an introduction about my uh, project guide also, supervisor also okay. because he, he was from CSIR so it is somewhat a valuable institute uh, like a council yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all, yeah. all over the world established institute yeah, yeah. So, uh, like, so these are very important points that he's making that you know you have to make your slide attractive, your presentation attractive, and I think uh, presentation uh, carries a lot of weightage when you're giving yeah. a personal interview, right? Basically, uh, for one of my friend who got selected there, that professor he was not there for her for her panel interview, but based on her presentation only he chose her. Okay. So right. presentation skills are very, very important, important while you are so, giving an interview. So actually he was not there for the interview as such, but he was there for the presentation and on, only on the basis of presentation he took that particular student. So that gives you an idea that how much weightage your presentation carries, right? And I think the the background of the present slide should also be not very colorful or yeah, yeah. not very, it just, should be very simple, right? Just make it simple, professional. Yeah. Don't give too many animations. Yeah. And if you are from chemistry, Structures are most important. Chem drawing. Yeah. Uh, it should be visible and it should be clear, clean, yeah. clean structure. And you should not make small mistakes. Like if you're drawing a sp hybridized carbon, it should have a direct. Like it should be in the same plane. It should not it should be above or below the plane. So that gives an idea that yeah, you are you know you are you are familiar with the structure and with the drawing yeah. of the structures. So yeah. that that small these small things play a big big uh, uh, role when you are giving presentations in big institutes, right? Mm. And uh, okay, and so then you came back, and after a week, I guess you got the email. no, no. I, after presentation, I had two more rounds of interview. Okay. So uh, after seven minute presentation, they asked me some basic questions, which was also related to my presentation. And after that, I had a panel interview with four scientists, and I, I had to give interview. Out of that four, two were microbiologists, one was biochemist and one was organic chemist. So basically they asked me questions uh, which was somewhat general in, in the sense that uh, like uh, one was about cholesterol biosynthesis. I told you biochemist was there. He asked me do you know cholesterol biosynthesis? And uh, another one was like what are the lipophilic part inside the cell? They don't bother about your background. Whether you are from chemistry, biology, physics, they don't bother. They will ask from their field. Whatever okay. area they are working on, they will ask from their field. Okay. And fortunately, I ha I searched with the people who are going to take my interview. I saw their background in their web pages and I just prepared for that. Okay. So I had an idea, this guy is going to ask about this and this guy is going to ask about this. And that organic chemistry guy, he asked me, uh, what is the current trend in organic chemistry? Why people are avoiding metals? Okay. So, green chemistry, it is the current trend in industry and all. So, I had to answer that. Then he asked me about, do you know any Nobel Prize winners in chemistry? So, I told about Suzuki, Hakan, Nagishi. Okay. But he asked me, they are they are all very old old people. So, okay. do you know any recent? Yeah. Uh, so, I had to answer 2017 Nobel Prize winner also. Okay, I, was, uh, I was not exactly remembering the name, but I was confident that it was on some cryo microscope. Uh, I just yes. told them and they were satisfied with me. Okay. 
and one of the another important thing uh, i would like to mention that you should be interactive they asked me why are why do you want to do phd in germany i just told them germany is my favorite football team okay yeah <laughs> so yeah you you know bit of humor also works sometimes so, yeah. yeah you should you should be open you should be you should not be you should not go there with some kind of fear in your mind you should be open to whatever you, whatever you feel like you can just you know mm-hmm. like say you have yeah. to be interactive you can just uh, you don't have to be uh, i don't know yeah you nervous know, or, nervous, yeah, or uh, afraid you like, should be freely you should be free like yeah. like in india the culture is very different in germany i think the culture uh, between a guide and a student is is very different yeah. and actually i was not a regular follower of uh, club football but still i just throw out three out this thing and they asked me okay which is your favorite club i told bayern munich Okay. Bayern Munich. Oh man, you are in wrong place. You are in Dortmund. <laughs> they told me like that, and they asked who is your favorite player. I told Ozil. Okay, for which club he is playing? I told for uh, Manchester uh, Arsenal. Arsenal. So it was like a funny interaction also. Mm-hmm. Additional, in addition to interview, okay. chemistry, science. Nice. And then what was the third round? And after that, I had to. I had a uh, this panel interview came around 15 minutes. Okay. Then next step was the interview, personal interview with the preferred preferred scientist. Okay. I had to give three num three person minimum three uh, preferred scientist, and I have given only one because I was interested in C H activation catalytic chemistry only, and I had a thirty minute long interview with him personally. Right. Uh, I think by that time that professor he was also there in panel interview section. By that time, he already fixed it. Okay, this guy is fit for my right. research group. Right. So presentation and panel interview was the most important two things. And after that, during personal interview, he just inquired about my personal things, which part of India you belongs to, okay. and uh, why do you said that? Why why Germany is your favorite football club? Okay. Uh, and uh, and then he asked some logical questions. Uh, what are your strength okay. what is your strong uh, strength like a char interview ah yeah, yeah okay. like a char interview yeah so i just told that i just love to finish my works in time otherwise i don't get sleep properly okay. <laughs> he was also lofi okay. then what is your weak zone weak zone yeah so i told during presentation and now i get nervous actually i don't get nervous but that was a logical answer that i prepared before okay uh, find a phd one website is there okay. find a phd okay in that you can find a model questions that okay. can be as- asked during your phd that. interview that's a very good yeah. point find a phd you can find model questions and answers so that will help you a lot with yeah. the interview uh-huh. and then finally when are you joining uh, max plank uh, i have to start my phd studies from july 1 of this year onwards okay and it is for 3 year only best of all i have yeah. to finish my project in 3 year and it is funded by that company boringa ringal him it is a pharma company reputed pharma company okay so it's a industry funded project and i have to finish in 3 year so this is one of the biggest points as well and to of one of the biggest advantage of doing phd in germany for other other countries like us and everywhere in india especially you take minimum of 5 years to complete your phd but in germany you get the chance of doing it in 3 years itself so anyway thank you so much mahesh for coming i yeah. wish you all the best for your phd thanks and this guy i have to give him free dinner otherwise he would not <laughs> he, he would not have come today for this interview and i guess it was this video was helpful to you so yeah. all the very best and thank you if you have any questions or queries you can contact me or you can just comment below i can give you his email id yeah. you can contact him on his email id yeah. right uh, i will be ready to help you always thank you thank you so much thank you